Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine and my name is Dave and we are going to be reviewing Volcanic Isle. Let's do it. Now disclaimer, this is a review copy from Arcane Wonders, but this game has got to earn its grade on its merit. So this is a game uh, kind of in the vein of Eruption and the theme. It's where there's a whole bunch of tiny volcanoes and your villagers or settlers are trying to build Moai to be the best villagers who've done that task on this isle. You're trying to get a whole bunch of victory points by building, building villages and uh, erecting these Moai with these villagers, all the while trying to ignore all these exploding volcanoes and making sure you're not on part of the island that's going to sink because fissures are just taking havoc on the land. So, without further ado, that's a big Big mouth load. Let's get to the production of this game and see the components. And they're pretty good, trust me. Let's look at them. Let's go. All right, so here's what comes in the box of Volcanic Isles. Now, these are chunky, unique bits. Uh, there are mini volcanoes, which are really cool. Probably my favorite thing about the game. Uh, they're well constructed, but they're like thin plastic. Um, and then you have the, the cardboard little uh, spots that kind of correspond with all vo those volcanoes. And then all the cardboard quality bits are really good. These are the fissure pieces that you'll have. Um, these volcanic uh, little bits here, they have an odd shape, that's all I'm going to say. And uh, then you have the player markers, uh, initiative tokens, they're one through four, and they're little boats. And uh, the last bit of the cardboard components are the map, so it's modular, so you're going to be making it, and the little uh, bits over there. Now what you're seeing in the middle, that's what you want to get into, right? Well, of course, the only thing that they're lacking is a green color piece. Come on, guys. But these little Moai, these are very heavy, and they look lighter purple on the camera from what I'm looking, but they're very vibrant color, uh, and they're done really well. High production, and then you go to um, the little houses here. Let me see if you can kind of see the detail on it. Yeah, it's so cool. And uh, the roofs look like straw. We'll go with a different color here. And then we have the little peoples, your little workers. And they got pointy hair. And the molds are done really well, but they're all the same. Every bit is the same. Then you have this last little, uh, I like to call this my little finger hat that you have here for every character as well. And then just a quality dice here. So those are all the components. Now let me tell you how to play this game and get to my thoughts after that. Let's go. So here is the game set up for two players. And boy, I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan of setting this game up at all. Um, I'm not really good at puzzles and it kind of hurt my brain. And then you got all these little fiddly bits, but it does look pretty once, it, once it's set up, especially with the little tiny volcanoes. So um, this Tile 3DS game, what you're gonna be doing is uh, moving around your workers here and you're going to be building villages to get more workers in order to build Moai that will be laying down when they are built and then you'll use an action to raise them and you'll be getting victory points which are on this board over here. The scoreboard is pretty thin linen paper uh, but it's a nice and I think it is well produced. I forgot to put that in the components portion. So that's what you're doing. You're trying to get workers, you're trying to get Moai, and you're gonna need the villagers to get more workers. And uh, you'll be taking turns. There will be um, fissures that happen on the aisle when you raise a Moai. As you can see, there's these little geysers. That's where the Moai are stationed at. And when um, you raise a Moai, you put a fissure, and then you roll a volcano dice. And if the dice goes red, you will then have to draw one of the tokens that you've seen uh, and see which volcano erupts. And whatever volcano that is, and it's five, will erupt. And uh, if there are any villagers or uh, any unraised moai or um, vil villages, they go away and then they are replaced with lava tiles on the first channel. Now, like eruption, the spread of the lava kind of goes around with the fissures as well. And if at any time the fissures break off a piece of land, that land is no longer there. So I would say um, this right here, these fissures, if this ever happened, these two at the bottom would go away and float away. And this is kind of the end game um, stipulation too. You'll keep on playing until there are two or less volcanoes and everybody will take the same amount of turns and whoever has the most victory points 
is the winner of the game. That's a mouthful. Let me get into the details of how you get villagers and villages and moai and points. So on your turn, you have four different initiative points and most of your actions are gonna cost one, but there is uh, one of the actions that actually costs two. So this is where the boats come into play and then that's basically the only time they're here. So the one of the actions that you can do with your four initiative points is move a character. So you can move him to an adjacent spot anywhere you want for one action. You can't move him through fissures though. And there might be times where you have to move him from a sinking part of the land, but that's not gonna cost you an island or uh, well, more of an AP, but I'll get into that in a little later. So moving a character just costs you one AP of the four. Build a village, now that's gonna cost you two AP, but you have to have a villager in the spot that you wanna build, and boom, now you can build a village, and that's important because you can then spend one more AP to get a second worker. Now you can only have as many workers as you have villages plus one, so you wouldn't be able to build a second worker with just one village there. You would have to spend two more AP, to build another village, to get another worker, and so forth and so on. Now the other thing that costs one AP is scoped a moai, and you basically will lay it down flat. This is you uh, having um, a moai, and when you scope the moai, you're going to be getting points as you do things. So when you get a village built, you're going to get a point, and for each moai that you uh, scoped, you get a point, and then um, when you erect a Moai, if it's the only Moai in the land, like in the space here, it's worth one point. Now, then you could start to get into a little math. If there was a village in your area, you get the point uh, times the amount of village villages that are here. So um, you'll get one times two. Now, if you have two Moai that you raise here, it will be two times two. And then if you get a third Moai that you put here, it will be three times two and so forth and so on. So that's how the math works, but you will be getting a point every time you make a village and or sculpt a Moai. Don't forget, we'll be um, rolling that dice and putting fissures down. And sometimes your Moai and villagers and uh, villages might go away. Now you, if you're the active player, you can save all your villagers and put them in an adjacent spot. But any structures that are there, go away and go back into your inventory. Now, if there are other players that have um, villagers that are on a sinking part of the island, they get to choose one villager and or settler, settler and put them in an adjacent spot. Now, I didn't mention when you're making stuff, you have to basically exhaust one of these lava tiles that is kind of like the resources so when you make a moai you're going to pl be placing it in the spot where you took um one of the lava tiles and then you can actually run around with this moai with a, a settler if you want to it's pretty funny to do that but it's possible and the last thing that you can do is you can obtain a prayer token now these are pretty cool um you can have one if you have uh two you have to spend two ap if you spent if you have a third one that you want to get you have to spend three ap they get exponentially more expensive but if you have one you can use it to save one of your uh, un rose moai or villagers villages more of because if you roll a volcano red and it blows up your um village here and you have a moai that has, isn't raised or a village it goes bye bye but if you have a prayer token you can save one of those or if you have two of them you can save both and you are cool and that's essentially it you'll continue just moving building and uh, blowing up volcanoes and getting rid of the land until there are two volcanoes that are left and then you will score again it gets a little mathy um you'll uh, get more points times the um villages that you have left on villages that you have left on the board if you have any you'll get like four points for each settler you have left and so forth and so on i'll let you look into that because it gets very nuancy and mathy but that is essentially the game now let me give you my thoughts and to give this game a score let's go so that's how you play volcanic isle now this game's i went in thinking that i was going to like this game and it's okay i'm going to give it a 63 and that's a low D, it still passes. And I'm going to start calling games like this rock games. They're solid games, they're nice, heavy production games. They're not going to like absolutely wow me, but they're good to be on the shelf and be a heavy 
uh, type game and that's solid. This is a solid game, but for me, it got too mathy and the board made my brain hurt when I was trying to make it. I, I, it it's, it's a personal thing. I just, it took me forever to learn how to set the board up and I don't want to play this game if I have to set this game up. Never again. I don't care if this game is set up for me. I would definitely come and play because it's fun. I like the experience of fit, uh, filling the air around with a nice chunky Moai bits and then uh, having my villagers run them all over the aisle and erect them and trying to get uh, as many points. That was my enjoyment of just making village villages and making the Moai. Getting the points and scores was again lost on me. The the way that the math was, I knew I had to get a lot of villages and I knew I had to get a lot of Moai in the same spot to get a lot of points and try to get as, keep as much of that intact till the end. But again, it's it just got a lot of, oh, I gotta pay attention to this number and this number, I do this number, do that number. And there's just a lot of little moving numbers and it just, with the board being confusing and the math not being my favorite, it the first playthrough of this game it really didn't win me over. Now, I tried to play it another two times. Again, it didn't really win me over. The third map, the third time that I played, I did one of the advanced maps. So there is replayability in this game, especially if you're into these types of mathy type of games and if you like to do puzzles. Definitely, this is a great a game for people who like to do like small puzzles and you'll get enjoyment of making the maps and then you'll be able to do your mathy things if you enjoy that at the very end of the game. So. It does have some shining glimmers of hope. There is decent replayability. The production is fantastic. And uh, for people who like puzzles and math, like uh, trying to crunch those numbers, this is going to be a great game. It's just not a game for me. So on Game Vine, I really can't recommend it for uh, many people who are just trying to enjoy a light kind of board game experiences experience like we normally review on this channel. This certainly is a decent game and like I said I'm going to start calling these games rock games and that's all I can really say about it. If you're into that type of stuff definitely pick this up but it's not a game for me. But thank you so much Arcane Wonders for providing this review copy. Could not have done the review without you. I really appreciate your support and thank you so much Vine Nation for tuning in to this volcanic review. Uh, hopefully it was an explode, explosion of information so you can make your decision on it if you want to go buy this game or not. The link down below will tune you in on where to buy this game but until the next time that I see you please click like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day. And a great time with all your play. I'm Dave, and I'm out. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.